This is a Z4 or Z4, depending on which part of the world you live in. And this one has the N54 engine and the seven speed DCT transmission. And I'm in the process of fitting an oil cooler for the transmission, a DCT cooler. So this is what I've done here, this setup, um, all sort of custom made. Uh, but uh, I did try the BMS kit for the 135335, but it doesn't fit in this uh, cavity here uh, on the Z4, so I had to do something a bit different. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm in the process of installing it, and I noticed on my CSF radiator, which is for the DCT or for the auto cars, uh, CSF radiator, I noticed a problem that I was going to lose some cooling capacity and it's the same actually with the stock radiator as well. So it's something that I don't think BMS properly acknowledged with their kit and uh, or maybe haven't told people and that maybe many people aren't aware that if you fit the BMS oil cooler without modifying your radiator or changing to a manual radiator then you're going to lose up, up to 15% capacity of your radiator. So let me explain why. Uh, this is actually a stock radiator here that came in the car. So it's an N54 stock radiator. It has the extra ports here for the auto that the manual doesn't have. And if you look down through the hole here, uh, this connection, you actually see maybe, put the camera there. There you go, there's a partition at the at the base of this so there's actually a partition that runs across here so this end tank is actually two tanks uh with a partition here so this hole goes into a different gallery than than the main line here uh, this is the inlet side of the radiator so uh, coolant from the water pump goes through here and, and across and out the other side uh, but on this side it actually has the separate branch that partitions off part of the radiator and uh um, on the other side, it's the same. There's also a partition here and the drain plug sort of proves it in that it has this long shaft with a seal on it. And so that seal goes up through the base there and, and seals off. Uh, and it's about seven of the tubes of the 49 that are in this partitioned off section. It looks like there's a little bit of overlap that it's six or seven at this end and about eight or nine at that end. So there is some possibility of, of not losing all nine, but you are gonna lose at least six or seven of your cooling uh, fins, 15% uh, of your capacity. Uh, if you use the BMS kit without modifying the radiator. So the BMS kit is all the, 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 the stock cooling lines. Uh, this, this one here, uh, is is across the subframe. That's the heat exchanger, the stock heat exchanger, and this is the line here that normally comes out of out of here um, and into the heat exchanger. And what BMS supply is a an anodized aluminium plug that goes in here and blocks the flow out of this line. And then another aluminium plug that goes in this side uh, to, to, to seal off that side. So they're the two connections that go onto the heat exchanger on the outlet side of the radiator. So by so with that in there and, and a plug in here, you're effectively just blocking off the flow from coming out of this hole. And in doing so then, you are just gonna trap coolant, it will fill up with coolant, but it won't be moving, which means that you've lost uh, the cooling capacity of all of those, of all those tubes. Uh, so I think the fix is, uh, at least as a temporary fix, is um, to drill through this, pass a drill bit down through here and and make some holes in that partition between these sections so that this becomes a common a common cavity and on this end is just to chop the top of this plug off so this bottom o-ring will seal to stop uh coolant coming out of the the end tank but with the top one chopped right off this end tank will act as one end tank and that'll be the fix that's needed the other option will be to use a radiator from a manual car uh, or for a manual car that doesn't have these these ports on the bottom. So uh, in that case, you won't have this port, so that hose won't be plugged in. You won't be even need the BMS plug on that end. Uh, you could still leave this line on the uh, on the subframe and and uh, and just have the plug in at the BMS supply, or you could replace this line with the manual equivalent, which just doesn't have this connection at all. Uh, but your problem will be on the other side that you don't have this port, which means you have an extra line with nowhere to plug it in. Um, and so the I think the 
the uh, connector that you the plug that you take out of this one on that side uh, can go into this port here so this will this can come apart and you could put the plug in there and that will will seal that off uh, or alternatively you could just chop this line and and put a plug in the the rubber section uh, just for reference the manual version of this pipe just doesn't have the branch coming off so uh, another option is if you're doing turbos this pipe is a pain to get off uh, but if you're replacing turbos and doing this upgrade uh, then then buy the manual line the manual equivalent of this that just doesn't have uh, this branch at all well, I've drilled a hole through the partition you can see down there the light shining with the light around so there's a hole in that partition and on this side I've chopped the top part of the drain plug off and so it only seals on the bottom now and so the coolant can pass between uh, the two chambers on this end tank and I've made up uh, these plugs that go in the tank so one in there and one on this side so I don't have to use the, the lines at all and, and use the, the plugs into the hoses and just cap it right at the radiator.